Hi, hello and welcome back. Welcome to episode 7, Lego Harry Potter. Still in year 5, still in the Order of the Phoenix. The year is definitely coming to an end soon though. Because we have almost been through the entire story. If I do recall correctly, but I've seen these movies like... 12 times so i'm pretty sure i can recall correctly quite a reliable source when it comes to harry potter also lord of the rings but harry potter a bit more probably good scene <laughs> boy this is finally gonna be the scene huh <laughs> yes sir man i really hope they do something cool with this But this is my favorite scene out of all the movies. Are we gonna have to play as Fred and George? Oh, awesome! It's not a mission. And now we can finally figure out what these colored walls are all about. Uh, or maybe not yet. We're not in a mission, so we don't really need to collect any studs. You need to wear Weasley sticky trainers to walk up this wall, but they don't have that. Or do they? So this is uh, his pet. Fred's pet. And that is... I wonder what George's pet is. So it's the same. I don't know what it's called, but it's like um, a device that disrupts the entire surrounding. You know, it just it's a very large noise and a bad smelling cloud that appears. Harry uses it uses it in the Deadly Hallows Part One, I believe, to get into Umbridge's office, which is something we're probably gonna see later. So spoiler alert, a bit too late, I guess. But looks like we have to fill in the four house crests over here. This thing is red, so we can use the Findo on it. There we go. We are also making a strength potion. I don't know for what yet, but I saw the cauldron. It's been a while since I've recorded or recorded Hero Lego Harry Potter for sure. I've been recording a lot for my master thesis this weekend, but not something to put on youtube or to put publicly on youtube because it's not that interesting it's just me test running our experiments but i have put the settings for those videos on um like private so only people with the link can see them oh, all right so we are building the potion to access this thing in here oh all right there we go oh it's just in here yeah episode seven already i feel like the last game was about seven episodes each year i believe so that further proves my point of the year probably almost being over are these maybe the sticky things that they keep telling us about so now we can finally walk up these walls yes sir oh that looks really funny it sounds pretty disturbing but that's fine there we go now we now we finally find out what that mechanic is used for or well how it works at least because we have had quite a lot of levels with those kind of walls with the yellow no not yellow with the orange and purple colors but we were never able to access them it's definitely going to be something that is mostly used in free to play though because you're not gonna have fred and george available every single level and i believe fred and george are the only two people that can open up those weasley boxes all right and now we have the staircase which is kind of unnecessary now because I don't think we still have to be up here, but still. Moving along, I guess we didn't need the house crests after all. These glass caskets are something we haven't figured out yet, but I do believe we found out in the last game that you can use the mandrakes, right? Like the really awfully screaming plants. I think you can hold them up to the glass caskets and they will break them out for you. Golden brick. Been a while since we found one of those. Haven't seen a student in peril yet doesn't matter though it's really nice to record lego harry potter though the games are so light-hearted that it doesn't require any effort at all for me to like hype myself up like all right i gotta record for this i gotta get into the recording mood it's just so easy with these games because they are so light-hearted with the battle from alert for example my first series and the second game is coming up that's for sure i really want to get into that as soon as possible it might be the thing that i play after lego harry potter though, but i'm not sure yet but either way that was a bit more on the serious side and i really need to pay a lot of attention in those games because if you miss out the enemy's movement for a second that could be disastrous meanwhile right here in lego harry potter i believe that you could like not look at the screen for 15 minutes and you would still complete the level it is a kid's game after all but a bloody good one at that Moving along, back into the castle. I guess the house crest is something for free play and not for right now. In a room full of trash. Kind of getting room of requirements vibes, but that can be this because that is just in a random hallway in the castle and this was accessible from outside. And we now have Arthur, torn suit. 
So they're dead, Mr. Weasley. But yeah, that's typical of RTS games. And uh, Battle for Middle Earth is an RTS game, real time strategy. You have to keep your attention high. You have to keep your eyes peeled the entire time because otherwise you might miss some small movements that the enemy makes and it could lead to some very bad results. Which is also true in real life wars, of course. If you just let your opponent do whatever they want, even for a split second, that could um, not turn out so greatly. Especially now in an era of nuclear missiles and stuff. Can't let your guard down for a second. Even though I think nuclear missiles is something you shouldn't really be that scared of. Because, well, this might sound stupid because that might be how everyone thinks but then we won't know it until it actually happens but i think world leaders should be smart enough not to start firing nukes around i hope so at least because i think once one of them endeavors to do something like that the world is just gonna go scary thoughts of course but what else are you gonna talk about while playing lego harry potter huh i believe we are making a giant firework rocket and we are missing the middle piece I don't suspect either one of these guys has a book. No, probably not. So the piece is gonna be findable somewhere else. Oh, this is something we can destroy still. And there we go, that has to be it, right? The last piece of the puzzle to make this giant rocket. And now let's put it to work, probably. Weasley boxes unlocked. I wonder if that means that we can open them with anyone now, but probably not. Here we go. I really hope they nailed this scene, man. They put some real effort into it. Everyone is quietly making their exams. At least they have the soundtrack, that's the most important part. So obviously it was slimmed down a bit, but all in all they got the gist of it correctly, right? Just in the middle of the exams, really all of a sudden just mayhem all around, fireworks, and that soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks out there for every movie ever existing. In my humble opinion, of course. I believe that normally Harry gets a visit in his mind again now, but maybe we are headed outside to experience exactly that. Loading for a cutscene, I would presume? Yeah, alright, here we go. W from Weasley, their last name. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, here we go, here we are. Now shit is about to get real. What? What was that supposed to mean? Alright, so now we're in Umbridge's office and we're in a mission, so it is definitely worth it to collect these purple studs up here. So this might even be the last mission in the game. But let's make sure we collect enough studs before progressing the actual story. Those cat sounds are quite disturbing, I thought I was in real life for a second, but I've closed my window of course to record. Which means that it's quite hot in my room, because I also can't put on my fan for obvious reasons, otherwise you would hear that noise all the time and that wouldn't make for a pleasant viewing experience so yeah man the things i do for my audience man those cat sounds really aren't nice in my ears for some reason it's always with animal sounds that i think like oh is that in real life and i keep checking my head i keep putting off my headset to check if it's in real life i remember when we were playing gwent which is the witcher card game when i was playing that together with my buddy krogren i there was this map or he had this customizable thing where one of the maps that he always played had some dog sounds barking in the back and i always 
always thought those were real dogs behind me outdoors somewhere so i kept removing my headset just to check it, what the hell was going on but it was always the dogs in game all right so now the cat can move into this painting and do what cats do best and that is knock glass bottles out of their place and now we can try to communicate with sirius black to see if he is actually being tortured or tortured or if it's just a trap but we are of course busted by umbridge and now hermione is like no you want to really know the secret weapon i will show you dumbledore secret weapon to overthrow the ministry which is not actually the case of course but and now we are in the forbidden forest can we control umbridge no of course not still in a mission so still some stud collection to be done talking about dog sounds yesterday we were gonna watch the europa league or uefa cup i don't know either way uh, the football or soccer game the final england versus italy it was an important game of course which is pretty obvious if you consider that it's the final and on my way there i was riding my bike there i actually found a dog that w had ran away from home or well i presumed it had ran away from home of course because it did have kind of a collar just one piece around its neck but it didn't have any name plates or anything so i was pretty confused at first i thought nothing of it and i just drove past the dog but then i was like no wait this just isn't right so i chased chased it down for a bit because it was pretty scared i could hear it like squealing once i called it and then it ran into somebody's driveway and that's where i was able to uh, gently take him by his collar or maybe her and uh, i called my mom because she's pretty good with dog dogs and stuff and she has returned found dogs to their rightful owners before especially in our neighborhood we have like a, a facebook page a lot of neighborhoods in belgium have that belgium have that like a facebook page with just random things from inside that neighborhood that happened and that is often where things get um, shared like oh yeah we lost our dog around here has anybody seen it and stuff like that somebody else gonna lift me up when i stand on top of this yes and so that was our original plan but then when we were still trying to get the dog into my mom's car and trying to take a picture to put on that facebook page another woman all of a sudden showed up and she showed up and she was like hey that's my dog and we did of course believe her because the dog seemed happy to see the woman and the woman also had the rest of the collar of the collar the the thing around the dog's neck because it was in exactly the same color as the one that was already around her neck so that's why we immediately believed that woman to be the rightful owner it was quite Quite an adventure though it also meant that i was way too late at my appointment with my friends to watch that football game but sometimes you gotta know your prior, 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 prior sometimes you gotta know your priorities though and saving an animal is a bit higher on the list than drinking and partying with your friends not that we partied or anything and we didn't drink heavily we just had some nice beers together and stuff i consumed one regular beer uh Jupiler is the brand which is a belgian brand of course we're pretty well known for our beer and then i also consumed an apple cider which i find really delicious and then i consumed um desperados as well which is beer with tequila flavor and a lot of people don't like that beer at all but i really really enjoy it together with cubanisto which is kind of in the same brand it's a beer infused with rum flavors so cubanisto and desperados two of my favorite beers but you can't always find them everywhere and they're pretty expensive sadly enough luckily there are plenty of other drinks to be had also non-alcoholic drinks you can tell me what you want man every drink could be as nice as you want but nothing beats a nice glass of cold water especially after a run which is something i also did today man the segues in this episode are kind of crazy it was actually one of the longest ones we have done yet i always run together with the same friend last time we ran for six kilometers which we have done before but we don't do six kilometers every time it has to be kind of a good day and today we ran seven kilometers without taking a break and then afterwards i walked her to her home and then we were when we were at her home i decided to run back to my place again so that's like an extra kilometer or even a bit more for me so in the end i had ran 8.6 kilometers if i'm not mistaken pretty proud of myself if you recall from one of my previous episodes me talking about the fact that running five kilometers was always my main goal the fact that i'm at eight now or even more than eight it is of course pretty awesome 
Why can I not get this blue coin? I can just stand up here and then get it. Yeah, there we go. And me and my running buddy always talk about it. How we find it absolutely crazy that we can run like 7 kilometers now. Because at the start we couldn't even run 1 kilometer without being breathless or without just quitting. If you just put in some consistent effort, I can promise you that you could do the same. Again, we were not able to run at all when we started. And now we are just doing these great distances. But you need to consistent consistency that is the most important part in practicing running you need to be consistent you need to go for that same run like each every two days every three days or just whenever you have the time just do something you know because by complaining about not being able to run you won't learn how to run i definitely want to get inside here because there seems to be a lot of coins back there but can we get back up i don't know if we are supposed to do this, but we did do it though, hardcore parkour. But I don't know if we can get rid of these spider webs in any way. Maybe that's something locked in that chest over there. I'm gonna shut up for a second and progress the mission, because otherwise this video is gonna be way too long. Yeah, there we go. And those boxes are unlocked for everyone now. Or maybe they are not. Oh, Alright, only Weasley. So that should include Ron and Ginny, right? And Arthur, I guess. Moving along through the forest, cutscene time. And there he is, Dumbledore's secret weapon. <laughs> Anime characters to Gnesis. What? Oh, we don't need to collect studs anymore. Birds can be scared away by loud noises. What does that even matter? Alright, so we destroyed a bunch of objects and I guess now we can make this cart or whatever this is supposed to be. Uh, press E to ring the bell while riding the bell bike. Am I like tripping on acid or something? I guess we scared away all the birds. And now they are sitting on the chains that we need to remove, which is quite handy, of course. Uh, sure. Exactly like it happened in the story. That's the name of the sixth year, right? Harry Potter and the bell bike. He can be woken up by loud noises. Well, I've got good news for you then. Wake up, bro. Is that okay? There we go. What the hell? Well, I guess they had to make the story a bit more kid-friendly because in the movie Umbridge straight up chokes one of them. There we are, level complete. So I guess there is one more level probably, maybe two, probably just one more level in this year. And that is going to be episode 8. Got the true wizard, unlocked a couple of characters. Let's see if the next one starts us off with a cutscene and otherwise we're going to say goodbye for now. It is a cutscene. He is getting tortured by Lord Voldemort. And now we need to reach the Ministry of Magic. And we're going to do that by using the flying skeletal horses. But that's something for next time. Hope you enjoyed watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.